So what is up everyone, it's Red Fusion here and today guys I'm back with our Fortnite Battle Royale video. And in today's video guys, I'm going to give you guys an updated locker showcase here in Fortnite Battle Royale. I'm going to show you guys all my skins, back blings, harvesting tools, gliders, and of course emotes in Fortnite through the first four seasons. Today is the last day of season four in Fortnite guys. We are less than 10 hours away from me making this video to the launch of season five guys i cannot wait uh season five drops tomorrow guys at 4 a.m eastern time there will of course be downtime there's gonna be so many different types of changes in this update arguably probably the biggest update we've ever gotten in this game and i cannot wait i'm so excited so i just thought why not do a locker showcase an updated one i did one during i think the beginning of season three but we're at the end of season four now so i think it's time to update you guys on all the skins that i have all the back blings, harvesting tools, gliders, and of course emotes. So let's get straight into it, guys. So we're gonna start with our outfits. I'm gonna go really quick, guys. I really don't wanna, you know, drag this video out and make you guys like watch a you know 30 minute video of me, you know, going over every skin and explaining it. So let's just quickly go through everything. So starting our list with our uncommon skins, we have the Whiplash. Then we have a you know Saint Patrick skin, the Sergeant Green Clover. After that, we have the Light Show and then the Crimson Scout. So those are my four uncommon skins. Let's move on to our rare skins in Fortnite. We have the Triple Threat, which is the female baller. And then we have two soccer skins, the Stalwart Sweeper, and also the Poise Playmaker. The cool thing about these two skins is the fact that you can customize their jersey number and also their country. And it's a really cool feature. Hopefully that'll be implemented and used more in Season 5 as well. So let's move on to our next skin, the Royale Knight. It's part of the Season 2 Battle Pass. Then we have the Jump Shot, which is the male baller. A lot of people think it looks like LeBron James. I don't really know if I see it, but I thought that's pretty interesting. Uh, moving on, we have the Cypher. Then we have the Chromium, the Bright Bomber, one of the most popular skins in the game. We got the Blue Team Leader, which is, of course, the first free skin in Fortnite that was part of a PlayStation 4 Celebration Pack. Then we have the Blue Squire. And then our last rare skin is the Absolute Zero. Moving on to our epic skins, we have Zoe, part of the Season 4 Battle Pass. We have the Wingman, that was part of a starter pack, the second starter pack in Fortnite. Then we have a couple uh, hero skins, which are the Venturian, which is kind of like a really cool superhero. And also we have the Ventura. I thought these are you know pretty unique skins and they're very cool. After that we have the Toxic Trooper. Then we have the Tomato Head. After that we have the Technique, the Squad Leader. Then we have the Sparkle Specialist, and then we have probably arguably my most popular skin and my most, you know, my, basically my rarest skin in Fortnite, the Skull Trooper. This is the one skin, out of all the skins I bought, probably the one I'm happiest that I bought. The Skull Trooper, everyone wants it, I'm so glad that I got it. So let's move on, we got the Scoundrel, which is the Male Thief skin, pretty nice one. Uh, then we got the Rust Lord, uh, we have, uh, Rust Lord's part, obviously part of the Season 3 Battle Pass, pretty nice one. I also came with a back bling as well. It was added. Uh, I remember there was like a huge downtime and all that, but they added a back bling to it. Next one is the Rogue Agent. It's kind of like a Halo skin. It was the first starter pack skin. After that, we have the Rap Scallion, which is the female thief. Then we have the one of the Easter skins, which is the Rabbit Raider. Only one that I bought out of the two that were out when the Easter skins were out. After that, we have the Noir skin, which is one of the three detective skins that I bought. Next, we have the Moonwalker. And then the Mission Specialist, both part of the Season 3 Battle Pass. Then we have the Funk Ops, which is a really cool one. Glad I have that one. After that, we have the Fireworks Team Leader, which is similar to the Cuddle Team Leader, which is a 4th of July skin. Then we have the Elite Agent, another Season 3 Battle Pass skin. Then we have the Burnout, one of my favorite skins in the game. Really cool, kind of like a race car driver. Then we have the Bright Gunner, similar to, obviously, the, you know, Bright Bomber. And also came with the Bright Bag Back Bling as well. Then we have the Blue Striker, the second free Fortnite skin. It obviously came with uh, you know, the PlayStation 4 Celebration Pack 2. Another nice skin in the game. We got the Battle Hawk, which is another Season 4 Battle Pass skin. We got the Bandolier, which is a pretty nice skin. We got the Alpine Ace, uh, United States and Canada. Uh, the one thing I was really confused is why didn't they uh, basically do it similar to the soccer skins? But I, I think they just probably realized that when the soccer skins came out, all will just, you know, add all the countries in instead of, you know. Because I remember with Alpine Ace, you actually had to buy each country uh, if you wanted to have it. So I just bought the United States and Canada because I thought those were the two coolest ones. Moving on, we have the Abstract, and that's our last epic skin. We're moving on to our legendary skins, my most prized possessions. 
here we go. We got the Wukong. Moving on, we got the Vertex. Then we have the Valor, part of the Season 4 Battle Pass. Then we have the Triceraops, which is obviously a pretty cool one. Uh, we got the Visitor, of course, which is the Blockbuster skin. And obviously it has edit styles. You can edit the head display to 1 of 4, whatever one you want to. And that's a really cool one. Uh, you had to complete 7 weeks, weeks challenges worth to get that. Then we have the Season 3 Max tier skin, the John Wick, aka the Reaper, guys, in Fortnite. Probably one of the most infamous skins. Uh, a lot of people hated this skin because everyone thought everyone that used this skin was a absolute tryhard sweat. And I would agree with that. Moving on, we have the Sky Stalker, which is a World War II pilot. After the Sky Stalker, we have the Rex, which is the first dinosaur skin added to the game. After that, the Red Knight, arguably one of the most popular skins in the game. I bought it first when it came out during Season 2, but it just came out last week during Season 4 at the end. So, the Red Knight, obviously, one of my prized possessions for sure. I love this skin. After that, we have the Raven, probably the most popular skin that came out during Season 3 in Fortnite. Uh, everyone loves this skin, and it, it's definitely awesome with, of course, obviously the back bling as well, and also the glider. After that, we have the Raptor. The Raptor, another really cool legendary skin, which is a Royal Air Force test pilot. Similar to the one that's going to be coming out soon, it's called the Royal Bomber, but that one's going to be out only, like, I think it's out in five days, and you have to buy a PS4 actually to get it, which is very interesting. This one, probably one of my most ra rarest skins out of all of them. The Power Cord. It's only been out one time since its release, and it's a really cool skin. It has a guitar back bling and all that, and a lot of people have said that this is our, this is the like the next Skull Trooper. This skin right here. It only came out one time during, I think, did it come out during Season 3? I think see, the end of Season 3, I'm pretty sure, came out, or either, either end of Season 3 or early se Season 4. But this skin, very popular, very cool, and very rare, so I'm glad I definitely got it. Moving on, we have the Omen, which is a super villain type skin that came out during Season 4. I like this skin a lot. I'm glad I definitely got it. Then we have the Omega, my favorite skin in the game. And let me tell you why. The fact that you can customize it through six different stages. Uh, you know, obviously you had to get your season level up to get that. Once you got to max level, or actually it wasn't max level. Once you get to level 80, you're basically going to unlock the full armor stage. And of course, uh, in the middle of Season 4, they changed the colors. Basically, you can uh, basically... Uh, you know, change your colors from red to green to purple to orange, which is absolutely awesome. So let's move on to our next one, which is the female Omega called the Oblivion. This is probably the coolest item shop season four skin that they probably released uh, that was new. Because I just think this skin is just absolutely dope. I mean, look at the skin. Just an absolute badass skin. After that, we have the Moisty Merman. I don't really know why I bought this skin, but uh, yeah, there's the Moisty Merman. We got the Love Ranger, a Valentine skin. A lot of people like this one, of course, with the you know, back bling of the wings. Then we have the Leviathan, which is a fish, obviously, in a tank. I uh, don't know why I got this one, uh, but it's a pretty dope one. You know, not bad. Then we have the Flytrap. This skin I, I thought was going to be a lot better. A little disappointing, uh, but it wasn't a bad one. Uh, glad I have it, though. Uh, after that, we have the Fate. Which is similar to, obviously, the Omen, which is the female one um, version, I guess, of the Omen. And this one's not bad as well. It has a pretty nice uh, back bling to go with the skin. After that, we have the Dark Voyager, guys. And, of course, the Dark Vanguard, both part of Season 3. Dark Vanguard was nice, and, of course, the Dark Voyager. Now we're moving on to our last few skins. We have the Cuddle Team Leader, one of my uh, favorite skins in the game. Uh, definitely a very popular one as well. Glad I have it. And then we have the Criterion, came out with the Red Knight last week in Fortnite. Um, this one's a little interesting, I don't really know. It's okay, I guess. Then we have the Crack Shot. This is one of my rarest skins, I would have to say for sure as well. This skin, I think, only came out once or twice during Season 2. And it hasn't came back since, so glad I have it. Then we have the Carbide. The Carbide, same thing as the Omega, had six different types of armor stages, and of course... You could change the colors. The colors aren't really noticeable on the carbide, just like the Omega ones are really noticeable with the carbide, not really. But this one's a really nice skin as well. And then we have our last two. We have the Black Knight, the max tier skin in Season 2, which was, you know, uh, Season 2 is probably my favorite season in Fortnite, and I'm definitely glad I have this one. I love this skin. And, of course, the last one, the Battle Hound, just came back, I think, two weeks ago in Fortnite. Uh, really popular skin. A lot of people loved it, and... I enjoy it as well. So those are all my skins in Fortnite. Let's see how many that totals up to. Let's see. Okay, let's see. We got six, 
We got eight, it's 14, 22, 30, 38, 46, 54. Uh, we got 62, 70, 72. So we got 72 skins in Fortnite Battle Royale. Let's move on to our backlinks. I'm going to be a lot quicker on my backlinks here. I'll uh, we'll start with our rare ones. We got the Standard Issue. We got the Squire Shield, the Royale Shield, the Precision. Moving on to our epic ones, we got the Venturian Cape, the Ventura Cape. We got the Tag Bag. We got the Strong Box, the Special Delivery, Rust Bucket, the Pathogen. Hard Boiled, Goodie Bag, the Clue Finder, Catalyst, the Burgle Bag, Bright Bag, Boogie Bag, Blue Shift, Blasting Cap, Astro, Alpine Accessories United States, Alpine Accessories Canada. And those are all my epic ones. Moving on to Legendary, we got the Stabilizer, Six String, Scaly, Royale Flags. Red Shield, Raptor Satchel, Ominous Orb, Offworld Rig, Murtank, Love Wings, Last Gasp, Iron Cage, Hatchling, Fish Tank, Destabilizer, Deflector, Dark Void, Dark Matter, Cuddle Bow, Crested Cape, Black Shield, and Battle Shroud. So those are all my back blings in Fortnite. Let's see how many that is. Let's see. 6, 8, it's 14. We got 22, 30, 38, and then we got 7. So we got 45. 45 back blings here in Fortnite Battle Royale. Let's move on to our harvesting tools, guys. We got a bunch. Let's start with our common pickaxe. We got a rare Vuvuzela. Got the Tendril, the Tadax, the Stop Axe, Slam Dunk, we got the Silver Fang, Sawtooth, Reaper, obviously part of the Skull Trooper. We got the Razor Edge, Pulse Axe, Propeller Axe, post, post, Posteron, uh, Persuader, Night Owl. Uh, we got the Magnifying Axe, the Lollipopper, Glow Stick, Gale Force, Empire Axe, Dragon Axe, Director's Cut. We got Cutting Edge. We got the Crimson Axe, which is part of the Red Knight. Carrot Stick, Axe Aroni, Axe Caliber, Auto Cleave, Anarchy Axe, Airfoil. So those are our rare ones. Moving on to our epic ones, we got Trusty Number Two, Renegade Roller, Rainbow Smash, Pot of Gold, Pink Flamingo. We got Pip Squeak. We got Party Animal, Oracle Axe, Onslaught, Global Axe, Eva, Disco Brawl. Chomp Jr., Bite Mark, and ACDC. So let's see, that adds up to, let's see, 7, let's see, 7, 8, 15, uh, 23, 31, 39, and then we got 6, so that's 45. 45 harvesting tools in Fortnite Battle Royale. Let's move on to our gliders. We'll start with our common ones. We got Wet Paint, Umbrella, Snowflake, Paper Parcel, we got the OG Glider. Moving on to our uncommon, we got Triumph, Storm Sigil, Sir Glider the Brave, Royale X, Mako, Hot Rod, Carbon. And moving on to our rare ones, we got Starry Flight, Stage Dive, Rainbow Rider, Gumdrop, Forerunner. Feathered Flyer, Blue Streak, and those are our rare ones. Moving on to our epic ones. We got Wings of Valor, the Viceroy Mark I, which is like a car, absolutely insane. We got the Venus Flyer, we got the Terminus, which I think is the coolest glider in the game, shoots lasers. We got the Split Wing, another really cool one. We got the Paradactyl, we got the Planetary Probe. We got the Intrepid. We got the High Octane. Hang Time, which is the baller one. The Get Down. Deep Space Lander. Cloud Strike. Fair Force One. And the only legendary glider in the game, the Royale Dragon. So those are all our gliders. Let's see, we got seven, 
Let's see, 8, 15, 23. Uh, let's see, we got uh, 31. And then we got 4, so that's 35. 35 gliders in the game. So let's move on to our emotes, guys. So we got all the, pretty much most of the battle pass emotes here. Uh, obviously, of course, the basic dance. The OG. We got the wave. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna show you guys all, like, the dance moves, really. That's probably what you guys wanna see. Slow clap. Salute. Respect. Red card. I uh, also got the jubilation. The finger guns. Face palm. We got the bring it. And those are all our uncommon types of moves. We got the wiggle. The worm. Take the L. Rocket spinner. This one's really cool. Ride the pony. Rambunctious. Rambunctionous. Pure salt. Popcorn. Orange justice. Make it rain. Infinite dab that just came out. This one's awesome. We got the hype. Hoot nanny. The floss. The dab. Best mates. Baller. The robot. Star power. Squat kick. Rocket Rodeo, the OG Rocket Rodeo. Nice. Then we got the Rock Out. Then we got the Pop Lock. Then we got the Groove Jam. The Fresh. The Electro Shuffle. The Disco Fever. And the Breakin'. So ladies and gentlemen, that is my complete locker for Fortnite Battle Royale through the first four seasons. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you guys drop a like, smack that sub, really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about my locker. Uh, definitely I've spent a lot of money on this game. Let me know in the comments how much you guys think I've spent on this game. I've definitely spent a good amount. I don't know how much I've spent, but definitely I've spent a good amount on this game. Uh, but, you know, I think it's worth it because I enjoy this game a lot and I enjoy buying, you know, the cosmetic types of items. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Make sure you guys drop a like, smack that sub, greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Season 5 hype tomorrow, everyone. I cannot wait, but hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Have a great day.